everybody, it's Jeremy, and welcome to a brand new series. This is Star Ocean Second Evolution. So this is a game that is pretty near and dear to my heart. I, I grew up playing the shit out of this game. I love this game. Uh, but I've never actually played the PSP remaster of the game, um, which is the title Second Evolution. So uh, the normal version is Star Ocean Second Story. So this is the PSP remaster, and we're going to be giving it a try. Uh, I know there's uh, new character portraits and a lot more voice work and some alterations to some things. But yeah, we're going to see how it goes. So, uh, come along for the ride. Alright, we are going to play... We're going to play Call of Duty. Ooh, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. The 19-year-old son of Ronix J. Kinney, hero of the Pan-Calactic Federation, Earthling Ensign, attending... Is it Ensign or Ensign? I can never remember. Attending the Federation Academy. It often troubles him that his life has been molded more by others than himself. Ensign, yeah. All right, 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 right. Every time, every time I read it, right, you, you watch like a, a sci-fi series or something like that, and you're like... Uh, you hear it, and you're like, okay, I know what that word is. But then when you read it, when you see it, you're like, the word is inside. Oh, no, that's the wrong word, right? And then we have Rena Lanford, a free-spirited 18-year-old girl full of dreams and imagination. Rena is adept at unarmed combat and has the special ability to heal others. She lives in Arlia, located in the southern part of Planet Expo. English is a huge bitch. Let's play some Claude C. Kinney. Yes, we leave his name. Let's see. Hey. Hey, Odie. Fuck you. Very cool. I'm looking forward to this game. Actually, Jay and I have been talking about this for a while. Space. The realm of infinite possibility. It has long inspired the dreams of billions. These dreams, countless in number, spread infinitely throughout the universe. Though some of these dreams are nightmares. A race of sentient beings from planet Lazonia, discovered in Sector Gamma, declared war on the Terran Alliance, igniting the flames of ferocious warfare across the galaxy. SD-342 The battleship Kalnus received a commendation for excellence in command for its victory in the battle against Lazonia. SD-346, the captain of the Kalnus and his second-in-command, successfully contained a mysterious virus outbreak on the underdeveloped frontier planet Roke. They also were able to prevent the tyrannical G.A. Revorce's diabolical plan to conquer Earth. Thanks to his achievements, my father was promoted to Admiral at the unprecedented young age of 38. The uneven spacing more than bugs else the shit out life. of me. <laughs> oh, fuck. I know that being a Federation officer is among the greatest accomplishments anyone can hope to achieve in this universe. But I am my own man. I'm no puppet. I'm not just the son of Admiral Ronix J. Kinney, hero of the Pan-Galactic Federation. So what am I doing here, of all places? So I actually played uh, Second Story before I ever played the first Star Ocean. Um, and when 
Any change from the pre-landing scans? When I found out that uh, that the first one was actually basically the story of um, Ronix, I, like I was like, holy shit! And I just had to play it, which is it's also a great game. Uh, not as good as two, in my opinion. Really good. No, sir. None of the wavelengths are showing any response. The field resembles a magnetic energy field somewhat, but its exact nature is still uncertain at the moment. This guy is so unenthusiastic. <laughs> hmm. So it's possible that it's absorbing all the waves from the sensors. All right. Let's try running a spectral analysis on the magnetic waves the field is emitting. Also, I love Star Ocean for this. When it gets sciency, it actually sounds sciency, unlike Tales of of Eternia. When when it tries to get sciency, it tries to make it like alien world sciency, so they just make up words and it doesn't sound good. <laughs> You're a ranking officer now. Use this to protect everyone if something happens. So we come down to an alien planet, and then you give me a phase gun. Not before. I'm an officer, but I don't get a phase gun until we get to the planet's surface. What's wrong? Nervous? I mean, a little bit. No, not exactly, sir. Put some it's spine in there, Claude. You're already quaking in your boots, Claude. It's not the kind of behavior I expect from an ensign. Yeah. I. You can use this phase gun in battle by pressing the special arts button. Don't be afraid to pull the trigger, it might just save your life. Against an unkillable monkey. No good, Admiral. There's no match with anything in our databases. Is that right? All right, let's get a closer look at it then. Yeah. Let's go, plus six. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, I take it back. No one wants to actually travel to the giant, weird, unknown orb that's eating all of your radio waves. What can this possibly be? Just why would anyone build something like this here? We'll need to find a way into the dome first. Nope. You're right. All crew, spread out and investigate the area. All four people. No one got... No one goes to the pedestal. Stay alert, people. Safety is of the utmost priority. You're the professionals here. What are you doing? This is quite a dome, isn't it, sir? You think there's a way to open the entrance? You'd think there'd be a switch or a sensor somewhere nearby. Are, are you two, Are you guys blind? Hey, Claude, did you find anything? There's got to be some way to open this door. Y'all suck. Dad, uh, Admiral? What is it, Claude? Did you find something? I think this is some type of control device. Maybe it'll open up an entrance into the dome. Good job, Claude. Just as I expected. Just as I expected, you have eyes, and you looked at the only thing that isn't a rock or a door. Congratulations. <laughs> what the fuck? How does it look? Think you can figure it out? Just give me a little more time, and I should be able to. Press this button. Nice. Got it. It's opened. How Why would you say there? it's opened, not it's open? I don't see any sensors. 
officers or security measures at the entrance. It Beyond look that, I can't say anything until we actually go inside. It looks dark, motherfucker. That's what it looks like. All right, let's proceed inward and begin with the investigation. Look alive, everyone. We don't know what we'll find inside. The voices seem kind of quiet compared to the um, rest of the audio balance. And I don't think there's... If we go to settings, there's not like a... Yeah, there's no like real audio settings or anything. That unfortunate. Unfortunate. Claude Kelly. Claude Kelly. Kenny. I said Kelly. That sensor like construction over there. It's a save point. Save points are the only places where the game can be saved outside of the world map. Well, let's go ahead and get our first save going, shall we? I say first save. This is a uh, previous testing facilities. Let's overwrite that. You can use the phase gun in battle by pressing a special arts button. Good luck, sir. Who created this thing? For what purpose? How does this device work? Never seen anything like it. Don't be careless, Claude. Wait till we figure out what that thing is before you go near it. Don't worry. It's nothing special. I'll be fine. <laughs> I'm a young idiot. It's gonna be okay. Stop. Don't go any closer. We still don't know what that device is capable of. It's okay. I'm a teenage military space officer. I'll be fine. <laughs> Get back here. Stay away from that thing, Claude. He doesn't listen very well. He's his own man. He's not going to listen to his Claude. dad. Piece of shit. You're fired. Like, I just shot him with a stun gun, How and dragged his ass back to the ship, fired him, and told him, when we get back to port, he's getting kicked off permanently. Dishonorably discharged. <laughs> you shitbag. This is how people randomly annihilate civilizations. It's by fucking with shit that they don't know what it is. Look, there's no danger at all. No danger at all. Not only did your ass get tossed, He's gone. Uh, Claude, it was so don't. indignant that you got tossed upside down. No, it's it's all my fault. Oh, come on. Ronix, that was like, that was very low emotion. He was like, it's all my fault. My son's gonna have to go on an adventure. I was on Milokinia. And then Were you? that light swallowed me up. Where well, the hell am I? Dad, Did you where is everyone? To the coordinates? Hey, I still have my communicator. It's no good. I can't get a signal. So where am I? Where did I get sent to? Well, I can't just sit around here and do nothing. I need to figure out where I am right away. From the looks of it, this place might be some underdeveloped planet. Or maybe you're just Where in a I forest. Jeez. Like they don't have forests on developed planets? That's there's someone there. Whoa! Look out behind you! Huh? Uh-oh. Monkey! Also, I find this lack of dignity. Like, Rena could totally take that thing. Get it. Is this more of a do-it-yourself <laughs> anime? <laughs> Kinda. Yeah. Hey! He's so strong, we can't... We can't beat him with our sword. Oh no, what are we gonna do? Oh, 
Shit, don't press that button. I forgot about that button. Phase gun! Phase gun! Yeah, yeah, boy! Anyone hurt? Whoa! Hey! We gained a level. Whew. Good thing I made it in time. More of a. I'm fucked up with this Gosh, more of a do it yourself anime up. comment now. Wait. How could I have been so Damn. careless? That probably violated the underdeveloped planet preservation pact. Uh, yeah, you think? The up p p p. But I had to do it. If I didn't pull the trigger, I couldn't have saved that girl. Yeah, they don't care about that. I. Um... You all right? Well, that was a close one. By the way, if you don't mind me asking... Where the fuck is we? Hey, wait! She just bounced. She ran away from me. Yeah, she ran away from you. You just shot laser beams at a fucking giant monkey in the forest. Is it not, though? I will say, this version, the, the PSP remake or remaster seems to be a little bit more on that side of things the anime do-it-yourself side of things um i don't think there were as many cutscenes in the original as there are in this And the art, oh, good. like the, the little um, character portraits, were not nearly as kind of like glossy and smooth and animu as they are in this. Actually, I don't, I don't know that there were portraits that pop up um, during conversation. I think that's a PSP. Uh, it's been a long time since I played sorry, the game. I, but I think that's like a that? PSP version as well. I like Rena's voice. Oh, Rena's voice no, that's okay. is much better than Claude. It's not that the actor is doing a bad job, it's just Claude has a very wimpy voice. It's just that everything happened so quickly. I was really shocked. Also, I feel like <laughs> Scary, I'm doing huh? a yeah, dis disservice. Yes, a little. Still, I'm really sorry about all this. You saved me, but I just ran off like that. Nah, don't worry about it. Besides, you did stop to wait, didn't you? Laser beams. Oh, I haven't introduced myself. My name is Reina. Reina Lanford. Oh, it's Reina, not Reina. My bad. <laughs> Reina! Oh! And, uh, I'm Claude. Uh, Claude C. Kinney. Uh, hi. Wanna be famous? Not really. <laughs> nice to meet you, Mr. Kenny. So, Mr. Kenny, was there something you wanted to ask me earlier? Yeah, where the fuck is we? Oh, right. It's nothing that important, really, but... Uh, where am I? Are you a traveler? Yes! I'm uh, a like very yeah. big traveler. Where are you from? Outer space. From... From Earth? You're breaking all the rules. Earth? Where is that? All of them. You're supposed I to be you wouldn't know what I'm talking about. from here. Well, uh, how can I put it? It's it's really far away from here. Really. Really far away. 
from? Probably. <laughs> a faraway place? I have never even been off this continent. That's really amazing. Is Earth farther away than L? I suppose, yeah. It must have been quite a long and difficult journey. Secretly, L is like the polar, it's like the exact opposite location of the Mr. planet, Kenny, other side of the planet, planet, planet and we'll she's an suddenly Arlia. like suspicious. Arlia, is that where you live? But, uh, are you sure it's all right if I just barge in? No. Of course it is. Besides, I need to repay you somehow. No, please, don't worry about it. I didn't do anything that special. <laughs> you don't have to be so modest. It won't be much, just the least I can offer you, so please. Where's my cat? Hey, cat. Why you hate me? Here we are. Welcome to Arlia. Arlia. I haven't breathed air this clean in a long time. What do you mean by clean air? Is there such a thing as dirty air? So sketchy, Claude. It's like you didn't even yeah, go to school for this it's shit. Sure dirty where I come from, anyway. Really? I don't think I would like that. I don't Nobody so likes either. it. This feels a thousand times better. Well, there's plenty of clean air here, so breathe as much as you please. <laughs> wow. I need to run back home for a little bit, Mr. Kenny. Would you mind maybe taking a walk around the village for a little while? I sure. need Re no Reyna's character portrait to look older. Because she's supposed to be like 18. She looks like she's 6. Then again, Claude also looks like he's 9. I'll be right yo, yo, back. it's happening! It's probably not a good idea to get too involved with the locals. I better try to find a way back. Really de-age the characters. <laughs> like, oof, de-age the characters. Maybe the villagers will have something helpful to tell me. Yeah, I don't, I, it, it's good art, right? But it's definitely, it feels a little different. Where could be better than Arlia? Young folks don't seem to know anything. Um, this game does not have like secret things. Everything's in a chest in this game, if I'm remembering correctly. An unusual outfit. Have you ever? Where did you find it? Earth. I never heard of that store. Father Marshall said that the Hero of Light was gonna arrive real soon. You must be a traveler. I hear even the main roads have become overrun by monsters recently. And that at a time like this, you have decided to venture out into the wilds. I'm sure that you have your reasons, but I cannot imagine it has been easy for you. May the gods protect you from harm as you continue on your journey. You made it to the final fight in Tactics Ogre. Congratulations! And good luck. <gasps> good luck! Fucking good luck. Ilokenia? Never heard of it. This is Arlia. Our village is located in the southern part of this continent. A spaceship? You talking to kid? You talking to, s to kids about spaceships? Claude is horrible at this. That's something you can eat? I don't know what that is. Hey, it's the love, love birds. You scared of earthquakes? That stuff doesn't bother me, but I'm afraid of thunder. I don't really like I really don't like earthquakes. There have been so many recently. I'm going to I'm getting a bit fed up. Oh yeah, I remember. There's a grueling 20 plus maps in a row with no access to the world map, shops, etc. Holy shit. FFT only made you do that like six maps? That's fair. Rose hip. And blueberries. Blueberries. Rose hip like a. Uh, whatchamacallit? 
source, 2% HP. 22 HP! Hmm. Something. One is significantly better compared to the other. That does sound pretty grueling. Honestly. Leather armor. Oh, yes, the auto equip wizard. I love it. For now. 200 fall. And a resurrection elixir. Machines? What the heck's that? Something that moves on its own? You mean like with symbology? Go ask a symbologist if you want to know more about symbology. All right. Have a look around, kid. If you're looking for something, you'll find it at Arlia Goods. A spaceship? What the hell's that? I don't have anything like that for sale. Yeah, it. they're basically writing it as though Claude is just walking around blabbing literally everything in existence to people. <laughs> hey, it's the kid with the weird sense of humor. Something? I don't have any spaceships, but I get a whole bunch of other stuff. Are you not going to let me buy anything? Okay. No, he won't let me buy anything. Where are you from? I can't tell at all. Just saw Reyna heading home looking really excited. I wonder what happened. Hey. Strawberry jam. I've heard there's all kinds of monsters outside the village. I hate monsters. They frighten me. Don't worry. If they ever try to attack you, I'll blast them away with my sword of light. Uh-oh. My brother's a hero. Alright, let's go. Talk to Reyna. I know we ignored the so other house, but... Right now? Well, I told him to look around town for a bit. Wait a minute, Reyna. Hmm? He's sleeping in Mama's purse. Like, if you if you look that right there, that's his butt. So technically, he's still in the cat cam. But yeah, like right there, right there. Technically, Cat Cam is up, but, he, but he's an asshole, so he has his head in a purse right now. Because <laughs> Mama made her area all um, new, so now he me. has to ignore me. Ah, uh, is something wrong, Mr. Kenny? Uh, I no, explored uh, your entire I'm village. Just walking around the village, and I wound up here. AKA, oh, you got I a see. tiny village. I didn't expect you to be here. Yeah, it really kind of bothers me Is that she looks like she's time? six. Oh, no. Not at all. I gotta remember to not say certain things. Alright, here we go. Mom, this is Mr. Kenny. He's the one who saved me earlier. Right? I, I just I just keep looking down at the old art. I'm like, yeah, that that Reyna looks a lot older. <laughs> oh, oh my. So he's the one you told me about? Well, hello there, Mr. Kenny. I'm Reyna's mother. Just call me Westa. Reyna said that you saved her from a dangerous situation earlier. Oh, I, uh, it wasn't anything special at all. But of course it is. It would have been a disaster if you hadn't shown up when you did. I told this girl time and again to stay away from the sacred forest, but she never listens to me. Nope. Because you're not my real mom. mom. Get out of here. Reyna, you should just be glad that you're okay. Also, why do you have a boat in your house? Why do you have a pond and a boat in your house? Before hey, anyone asks me, Sorry, I do understand that they they I'm live on so a river. But still. Ah, yes, please. Thank you. Yeah, do it. 
All right. See you later, Mom. <sighs> okay, I got it. Have fun, you two. It was nice meeting you, ma'am. I'm sorry about my mother. She can be annoying sometimes. And she sounds much older than she looks right now. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't bother me. My parents are kind of the same way. Yeah, your dad, the one you left on a alien planet. Then teleported to this one. Oh, really? Yeah, like you wouldn't believe. You'd be amazed. <laughs> well, shall we get going? You'd be amazed. What? Amazed about what? Oh, hello, Reyna. Who's this young gentleman? I don't think I've met him before. This is Mr. Claude Kinney. He's traveled here from somewhere far away. Oh, I see. That would explain why I didn't recognize him. The old art is better, in my opinion. I know that you really, you really like going to the Sacred Forest. Take me with you now. Uh, yeah, that might be the case. This is the home of the mayor of Arlia. He's a really knowledge knowledgeable guy, but he doesn't seem to be in right now. Loot the house! I don't think there's anything in here. Hello, Reyna. Mr. Regis has gone up to Salva on business. I don't think he's going to be back for a few hours. Alright, that's just for that scene. Never mind. This is the home of the town carpenter and his family. He's got a big job in the next town over right now, so I don't see him at home very much these days. So the two kids are here by themselves? That's right. We're kids. I try to visit them and chat as often as I can. Pretty nice of you, Reyna. Well, not at all. Try. Two are so awkward. Holy crap. Hey, lady. <laughs> Is your dad working today? Hey, he hasn't been back in two weeks. But don't worry. I look after my sister while he's away. Now, I'm not lonely at all. I've got my brother. You always come play with us, too. You gonna tell us that story? So sorry, but I'm a bit busy today. I promise you that I'll... I will next time, though. The story about the Hero of Light? Yeah. Oh, Reyna, this is the first time I've seen you walking around with a guy. Your mother must be worried sick about where you've been. Because you're out in the forest. Arlia Goods, they sell all kinds of useful things for everyone. The herbs you're smelling, actually. What's an herb? Like, Claude's an idiot. <laughs> Medicine that heals wounds, you know? You can't leave a journey on a journey without them. I didn't know that. You didn't? Nope. We don't have herbs. We have hypodermic needles. Amazed you're still alive. That's rude. <laughs> hey... I can buy stuff now. I can buy sandals. Holy shit. Why are rose hips so expensive? Hm. Nice. Because those hips don't lie. <laughs> uh, Reyna, why doesn't Alan come here anymore? Mm, you know, that's a good question. Because he's possessed. Hey, Reyna, who's this Alan guy? 
I'm a jealous boyfriend already. Oh, he's just a childhood friend of mine. He lives in the town just north of here. He does, Jake. He does. Hey, Rana, you never told me about this guy. Is he your new boyfriend? He is not my boyfriend. Just someone who saved my life, okay? Oh, you're so cute when you get flustered. Yeah, they immediately, unlike Tales of Eternia, who makes it less about the romance side of things, Star Ocean makes it almost immediately about the romance side of things. This house is home to a newlywed couple. They're so in love with each other, it's almost embarrassing to watch. Oh. Brianna, taking your boyfriend around town? Are we going to get another spam of, Not my boyfriend! It's just a guest. Raina's a very, very nice girl, so I'm counting on you to make her happy. Just like Lou's done for me. Jeez. Uh, uh, okay. Don't say okay. You're done with your shit. This is Velding Church. We hold wedding ceremonies and things, and Father Marshall is a very hardworking man. He's always there for us if there's something we need to talk about. In a village this size, how many wedding ceremonies have you even lived through, Reina? Like, four? Sounds like a wonderful man. Everyone trusts him. He's the devil. First the monsters, and now you coming to church? The world's really gone crazy. Hi, Reyna. Could you tell me the story of the Hero of Light again? No, I'm sorry. I need to take Mr. Kinney around the village today. Okay, maybe next time. That's like the most understanding child I've ever met. Earthquakes frequently occur, and the animals have all started to turn on people. What is it that the gods are trying to tell us? Now pray, my child. It's only through prayer that you will gain insight into the gods. So only through introspection are you going to gain insight into unknown deities? I don't know about that. Hello. How are you doing? You look as vibrant as ever. You look as six-year-old as ever. That's really fucking with my head. Alright, let's get out of here. Mama! Mom, I'm back. I have Hello. returned! Rena, I wasn't expecting you two to be back so early. Just in time, though. I was just finishing up everything. Finishing up? What? No, Jay. No, I'm not. I I definitely not. He's my favorite character. Why am I ridiculous for wanting to use my favorite character? Also, I'm pretty sure if I didn't take the guy with two dragons on his shoulders, Jake would disown me. So, I'm my hands are tied. <laughs> win win. <laughs> Doesn't uh, it look delicious? I put all of my best recipes out on the table for you. I wish I could cook as fast as this lady does. That's not what I mean. What? Did I do something wrong? I just thought I'd thank Mr. Kenny with a nice meal. I understand that, but isn't this a little much? A little bit? It Isn't? does look tasty. He's pretty young, so I figured he'd have a big appetite. You are hungry, aren't you, Mr. Kenny? Actually, I am. Yeah. Hungry for blood. See, a real man could put all this away, no problem. So eat as much what? as you like, all right? Uh, thanks. Oh, Mom. Yeah, they're a time a dozen.
Look, is opera cool? Yes, oh, absolutely. So for the meal, but I just one hundred percent more. Do I want Ashton? Yes. Are you okay? You didn't have to force it all down, you know. I'm gonna barf. I'm fine. I'm fine. I've got a cast iron stomach. Okay. You don't know about herbs or anything else, but you still know what cast iron is. I still do. They still use cast iron skillets in space stations. I'm sorry, my mother made so much. It was all delicious, though. My mother would never be able to do something like that. My mom can't cook. <laughs> my mother is Thanks an excellent. Thanks for the compliment. I'm glad you're happy. In fact, I'm really like I'm. I've miss. I miss my mama. I haven't been able to see my mama through this whole freaking coronavirus thing. I could definitely go for some mother's cooking right now. I'm gonna go downstairs and help my mother clean up. Feel free to rest up here for a bit, all right? Sure, that sounds good. It's so creepy. Like, some of these voice lines are just really oddly delivered. Like, it's very clear that they're not delivered in, like, a conversation. They're not delivered Man, in, in a studio cool. where the actors are, like, talking to each other. They're just delivered in a studio where this is Claude's voice actor, and he's just, this is the line. Okay, I'm reading the line, <laughs> right? Again, not that Mom, the voice actor is doing bad necessarily. Doing. It's just, it, it comes off as odd. Yes, they, they, it definitely feels like the context is weird. to find a way to get home. I've got to find a way to get home. Rain is taking a while. How long you think it takes to clean up, a man? Yeah, let's go sneak into her room. Is that a dolphin? That's actually cool. I actually need to go back in there. All oh, right, I'm supposed to just like stand there and eventually Westa will like come get me. All right, well, so. Maybe. A long time. Ah, there we go. I had to go back out the ah, door. Hello, ma'am. Hello. And Mrs. Doubtfire. Hello. I didn't make too much, did I? Oh, not at all. All of it was wonderful. Thanks for making it. Really? Oh, I'm so glad to hear that. You're welcome. She got a big accent all of a sudden. So you really liked it? I really did. Are you a hundred percent sure? This woman's voice I'm keeps changing sure all over the place. Well, thank goodness. I wouldn't know what to do if it wasn't good enough for the hero. Um, did you just say hero? And I... Oh. I love how she freaks out, right? She's all like, oh god, I said, I said hero. Yeah, the hero played off, lady. The hero who saved my daughter. That's why I made this meal for you, right? You know, <laughs> that's, that's somewhere around 50 points. Fucking A. This game does have a very long intro, I will say that. Reina! Oh no, 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 no! What's wrong, Mom? Why are you panicking like that? I know, it's it's just that I've... <sighs> Calm down, Mom! Tell me what's wrong. I said it. You said the word said hero! It. You didn't even have any context around it. You just said hero, like, oh, you're my hero. It's fine. 
I said the H word. The H word, like it's some what? no he no. Told him that? So what did he say? I don't think he understood what I meant. Well, he does now, because he can hear what, you now. What's going on here? Please be calm, everyone. It's all right. He doesn't understand what this is all about either. Oh, Mr. Kenny. This must be Claude C. Kenny then, yes? Allow me to say, I'm honored to make your acquaintance. My name is Regis, and I humbly serve this village as its mayor. Good to meet you, sir. Oh, God. <laughs> Look at the mayor's you, eyes sir, right now. <laughs> our dear Rena's life in the sacred forest. They're very devoid of life. Oh, not at all, sir. Speaking of which, Rena has told me that you are, at present, in the midst of a journey. Kind of. Oh, well, it's hardly worth calling a journey, really. So tell me, where is your destination? The Kingdom of Cross, or perhaps the continent of Lacour? Well, I, uh... A curious traveler indeed. Not only do you not know where you are, but where you are going is also yet unknown. Ha ha ha! We have a prophecy! Come on, just cut to the chase, old man. What are you trying to say, sir? Mm-hmm. What you trying to say, old man? Mr. Kenny, if you will forgive my rudeness for a moment, I do believe everything you have told us has been a lie. Oh. Harsh. You are far from an ordinary traveler. If I'm not a traveler, then what am I? A visitor from another world. A hero of legend, hidden under the guise of a traveler. In fact, even you will agree that you are the hero of light who has come to fulfill his duty as our savior. Am I wrong? <sighs> no, you're, you're right. Absolutely what? correct. I, uh, listen. What would possibly make you think that I, uh... This old man is awesome. If it's proof you need, then let me share with you a glimpse of our world. It has been told in our history that when the people of Expel are suffering under the threat of impending doom, impending doom, will appear in garbs of foreign make, and with his sword of light, he will save us all. Yeah, okay. That's pretty generica. Your clothes are nothing like what we have, and you carry the Sword of Light. What more proof do we need? I... What are you... Oof. I don't have any Sword of Light. Of course you do. You used a blinding light to save me earlier. Dun, dun, dun. That? Maybe he really isn't the one. He's got to be. I mean, he doesn't have to be. Hmm. I I'm interested in this pack, this painting in the background. This of mine, it's not a sword of light, although I'll admit that it's something like one. But still, carrying this around doesn't make me any kind of special hero. There's got to be some kind of mistake. How can you say that? Well, I mean, I'm not a hero. I don't have any kind of power like that. I don't even have any idea what's going on here. How can you expect me to save anyone at all? You tr 
truly have no idea? You really don't know anything about the sorcery globe or the cataclysms? I mean, I do, but he doesn't. So, you know. We're not talking about something that happens in the village here. We're talking about the cataclysms that have affected the entire world. It seems that you do not really know what we are talking about. Please allow me to explain. Yes, please give me the backstory of the game so I have context. Good job. It all began three months ago. On another continent, northwest of this village, there is a kingdom by the name of El. One fateful day, a meteor crashed upon Aluria, a town located within El's territory. At first, people saw it as merely a rare and remarkable celestial event. But before long, a cataclysm took place. Does not feel reminiscent of Final of Fantasy VII. Um, in the once peaceful nation, and the havoc like they savings. spread devastated the kingdom of El. There has never been anything like this before in our world, not until the arrival of that meteor. Hmm. It only stands to reason that the two events are related to each other. I mean, you're not wrong. The meteor came to be called the Sorcery Globe, a stone of pure demonic evil. D oh, God, this guy's voice. Demonic evil. No matter how evil. you look at it, that stone must be the reason for the disasters that have befallen the world. Yeah. And now, just as the sorcery globe fell upon our heads one day, so you have also appeared out of thin air. If that stone is the source of the chaos, then we believe that only you can cut through the chaos and save us. Only you can prevent forest fires. But I'm just a... A bitch. The cataclysms are still ongoing as we speak. Strings of earthquakes like nothing recorded before. Docile animals turning into fearsome monsters. It will not be long before disaster befalls this humble village, too. You just gonna let us die, man? He's basically like guilt tripping Claude into being the hero of light. But I. I'm not anyone special, like your story said. How am I supposed to deal with some kind of magic meteorite? With science if you are not, and a sword. Then where did you come from? And where are you going? That's... I don't know how to explain it. And even if I did, you wouldn't understand it. The only thing I can tell you is that I'm here because of an accident. And not because I wanted to be here. I just want to go back to where I came from. That's all. You must have your reasons, but you must let us know more before we can make sense of this. Do I? I know, but that's all I can tell you. Yeah, I mean, I'll talk about space Very stations well. and spaceships, and I'll say Earth to random people in the village, but I won't say it to you when I'm explaining things. If you insist on it, then I am sure there is at least some truth to it. We will have to accept that you are not the Hero of Light after all. How can this be? 
I'm sorry. This is probably not what you all wanted to hear. Not at all. It is our own fault forcing you to be someone you are not in the first place. Yeah, Regis. I'm sorry Delvin. about this. Reina! That was overly dramatic. You should probably leave her be for now. She believed with all her heart that you were the hero we needed. I'm sure she would be not the one we deserved. Reina. There is one thing I would like to ask of you, Mr. Kenny. Please, if you can, try to avoid acting in a way that would confuse others. I am, of course, referring to the Sword of Light. But if you could, I ask you to be prudent with your behavior in general as well. As I explained to you, things have been unsettled ever since the Sorcery Globe landed. People are anxious and uncomfortable. To have someone who matches the description of our legends suddenly appear in these circumstances... Well, hopefully you can understand why people like Reyna we're holding out so much hope for you. Yeah, asshole. So I do ask you to be mindful not to instill that hope into people. Please, that would be easier for everyone. Fuck me. Yes, Mayor. I'll try my best. Well then, on that note, Mr. Kenny, what's your next order of business? Sleep. I wish I knew. I thought maybe I would try to find something that'll get me back home, but... In that case, why don't you stay here in our village for a while? You can stay in my house for as long as you like. Perhaps you'll be able to find out something useful while you're here. Oh, I, I couldn't impose like that. As opposed to what, Claude? You gonna crash here or you gonna sleep outside? Not at all. You have no other if options. Was imposing around here, it was certainly us. I insist. Well, in that case, I will accept your offer then. Maybe it was just that, oh, you're supposed to politely refuse once. You'd be like, oh, I just couldn't possibly. Okay, I'll do it. <laughs> like, thank God someone offered me to stay. Did you sleep well? Yes, very. Thank you. The mayor will see you downstairs. Oh, I forgot. Like, this is one of the only games that I know where you run by default, but you walk by button impress. Impress? Button impress? What Good the morning, fuck? Mayor. Button in press. Ah, you're finally up. Yes, I needed a good night's sleep. Superb, superb. By the way, Mr. Kenny, if you can't find what you're looking for here in Arlia, you might want to try visiting the town of Salva to the north. Salva's a mining town where you can find people from all across the continent. Perhaps it will prove to be worthwhile to have a look over there. Sure. All right. Thanks for the tip. Just the tip. Don't worry about it. Oh, and one more thing. Your sword of light will probably attract too much attention. So please, make use of this sword instead. Finally, if you're ever tired, you can use the upstairs bed anytime you like. Day or night. Yay, free Great. resting spot. Thank you very much. Okay, time to grind for two hours. Uh, so until we get <laughs> until we get air slash to max. <laughs> oh fuck! I wish you the best of luck. Probably not gonna do, that, but uh, it is in my nature. So I think 
I think we're supposed to just head to Salva. And then we head back here, and that's going to activate the next set of things, I believe. That's not in right now. Oh, I think we can go up to our room and get a uh, treasure chest. Yeah. Blackberries. Whoa, Blackberry. So I'm probably not gonna, like I said, I'm probably not going to max stuff, but I am probably going to, the, ooh, on auto. Semi. Um, I am probably going to grind for a little bit, so. Oh, what's up, kid? Hey, mister. Yeah, what's up? If you're gonna leave the village, you better stay close to the road, okay? The forest is really dangerous. Cool. I'll remember that. Thanks. Nope. Thanks, kid. Oh my god. Hey, look at that world map. That world map looks really good. It's very nice. Cool. Alright, we are finally outside of the village. We're still not through the intro, unfortunately, but we are finally outside of the village and we can fight and do stuff and have fun. Uh, but we will have to do some of that on the next video. If you're on Twitch, stick around. We're going to keep playing some more. If you're watching on YouTube, hope you enjoyed. We will see you next time. Bye, everybody.